Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see how to draw detailing of bush bearing. So in exam they will give you a question like this which is front view and side view and they will ask you to draw front view and top view of bush and body. See you have to draw disassembly of bush bearing. So this is bush bearing. See this is body and this is bush. Bush which is inserted inside the body. It's like this. So this is assembly in 3D. So what we need to draw, we need to draw front view top view of a body showing right half in section and front view top view of a bush left half in section. See this, this is body, right half in section, the inside part is bush, left half in section. So first what we'll do, first we'll draw body. So for that we'll take height which is 15 and I'll draw a horizontal line. After that, I will take midpoint and from that point, I will go up by 40, 15 plus 25, 40. The circle I have to draw, diameter 60. So from here, I will go up by 40 and from there, I will draw radius 30 as well as radius 20. So after drawing this much, I will draw a vertical line from here as well as from here. Then this slot is there, right? So I will take a midpoint. First I am drawing that axis line, 120. So we'll take 60, 60 on both the sides. So take center point and take 60 60 on both the sides after that if you see this distance is 25 so from center you take 12.5 12.5 and draw two vertical line and you take 4 mm from down and you take 10, 10 mm on both the side to draw that dotted line which is given in front view. Now why we draw this dotted line because that much portion is being removed from the object. See this entire part is dotted. This they do it to remove the weight of the object, to reduce the weight of the object. So they remove this much portion from down. So that I am drawing dotted. Now there is oil hole. So the diameter is how much? Diameter 10 and diameter 5. So from center I will take 5 5 mm on both the sides. And I will draw a vertical line and height of that part is 4 mm. This is 4 mm. And this is diameter 5. So from center you take 2.5, 2.5. So this much we are done with. Now inside part we are not drawing. Apart from that, now I need to draw those two dotted lines so that I can draw. Say it is 25. If you see that is an oval shape hole of 25 by 20. So in front view we can see 25 and in side view it's diameter 20. So that I will show you how to draw. So first I will draw a dotted line only till here. It won't be through and through because there is a cavity down there. So this much part is dark. So we are almost done with the front view of body of bush bearing. See this. 
Now, if I want to draw front view, top view, how it will come. See this, I'm just drawing the body. So if you draw body, this is how it will come. This part you can't see from the top view. So this is how it will, how it is. So what we have done is front view. Now we need to draw top view. So when you draw top view, first I will draw axis line. Now see this. So I'll extend this circle part, which is rectangle. And I will draw this two circle, two dotted lines. See, this is diameter 10. This is total is 70 and this is 60. So we need to take 5, 5 mm on both the sides. So, so total is 70 and this part is 60. So we are taking 5, 5 on each side. So if I'll draw top view, I know I'll get two rectangles. One rectangle is this, 60. And the other one is this. So I'm just drawing dark till here because the lower part will be dotted because that is below the curved part that I'll show you in the diagram. So this is a rectangle. So this is 70 by 60. Height is 70 and length is 60. Sorry, width is 70 and length is 60. So this is how it will come. Now what you need to do, you need to draw dotted line for the inner circle. So that will be through and through. See this. Now this part is there, the lower part which you can't see. So that is important. So when you see from the top, you can't see this lower part. So that will be dotted. So I hope you people have understood this. So this is the dotted portion. Now if I do this upside down, this is how it will look. And this is that slot they have removed. They have removed the bottom part to reduce the weight. So that is this dotted line. So what I need to do, I need to project from here and I need to mark 10, 10. So then I'll be able to see that rectangle and that rectangle is representing the part which has been removed. So it will be easier for you to remember that way that whenever you draw body, always remember they will have a, a slot like this. To reduce the weight of the body so you should always keep this in mind so this is dotted it will be like this Then you draw vertical line, you take a midpoint and you take diameter 25 and diameter 10. There will be two circles. Okay, now we need to draw this slot if you see it is 25 by 20 but if you see over here they have mentioned diameter 20 so that means it's a circular slot it's not a rectangular slot otherwise we would have done it rectangle but in this sum they have given a circular slot so what i will do i will draw two vertical line i will take midpoint and i know it is 20 so i will take 10 10 on both the side 
So first I will draw a rectangle of 25 by 20. Once it is done, then what I need to do? I need to take radius 10, diameter 20, right? So I will take 10 from here, I will mark. 10 from here, I will mark. So I'll get two points. And from those two points, I need to draw circle of radius 10. See from here, you draw radius 10. From here, you draw circle of radius 10. See this, you draw radius 10 and radius 10. And then you join this. Now we are done with front view and top view. Now if you see, yeah, this axis line I can show in front view. So this is very important, oval shape slot which you should know. So for that you need to draw a rectangle first and whatever the radius, you go inside by that radius and draw a circle. We are done with front view and top view of a body. Now we need to draw a right half in section. So we need to draw cutting plane line. On right hand side like this. See it's half sectional. So we'll go only on the right hand side part like this. So what will happen? When you cut like this, the circular portion will go. See, this is cutting plane AA. So when you remove this much part, this will become dark. So the dotted will become dark. And this also will become dark. This part will go. And then we need to do hatching at 45 degree. This will be dark, this will be dark. So this way, we are done with right half in section. So front view, right half in section along AA. This is top view, this is Above one is front view with right half in section. So we are done with body. Now we need to do bush. See now this part. So it is this way. If you see in 3D, it is like this. So we'll be drawing that. So for that we need to draw two circles. One is radius 20 and another one is of radius 15. So in front view we will have circle, in top view we will have rectangle and we'll have two more dotted lines. See this will be dotted. And this will be dotted. This will be dark. This will be dark and we have circle of diameter 5. 
so from center we'll take 2.5 2.5 in front view we will have dotted line in top view we will have circle Now after this, they have said left half in section, front view of the bush, left half in section and top view. So we will draw cut plane line like this. It will be only on the left side and only half because they want left half in section. The arrow will come like this. This is cutting plane BB. So what we will get? We'll get this dotted line dark. See, first we'll draw axis line. Then this dotted will become dark. And we'll draw hatching. So I hope everyone understood how to draw front view and top view of the bush and front view left half in section. Thank you.